What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do this effect. It is very simple to do and to do this you will need a green screen. That is the reason why I'm not doing it on myself. I don't own a green screen so I can't do it on myself. Now before getting into this video, if you want to request a tutorial, then let me know in the comments below or on Twitter. Now I also said in the video to do this effect you'll need a green screen. The green screen I used was from HD Green Studio. They have a ton of free green screens you can use, so check them out in the description. Okay, so here we got the stock footage, we got the face cam. Here we have, of course, the green screen itself. I'm just going to shorten it down and I want it to end when the video ends as well so that means I want the end of this video to match the end of this video. We'll worry about that after. So for now we need to worry about the green screen on top. First of all right click here and click insert a new video track and then drag this footage above and you'll see this is also going to interrupt the audio track. So right click insert audio track, drag one up and then just drag it on top like that. So, next thing we need to do is come to video effects. If you don't see this tab right here, come to view, windows layout, and then just come here and click default layout. So from video effects, you need to come up here and go to chroma here, drag on the default, and this is what you'll get. You'll see it says color, it's currently set to blue. So just click the color, press the color picker, and then just select the background, which of course is green, and it'll get rid of it like that, and I look stoned. Anyway, we can now exit out of this, and like I said, I want the video to end the exact same time. What I'm going to do now is actually find where I say this effect and point up, so that is when I want the video to start, so I'm just going to play through it. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do this. So right there, and then I'm going to drag this there, drag it there actually, there we go. And now I'm going to keep it like that for now. And let's just play through. This video, I'm going to be showing you how to do this effect. Is now you can see the plain audio is pretty loud, so we can come here and turn it down. And we'll worry about positioning it in a minute. The next thing is actually adding the hologram effect. So again, video effects, and this time we're coming to something called TV Simulator. It's right there. And we're going to add on TV look onto the green screen. And you'll see, that is what we'll get. Now you can see you can mess around with all these settings, sometimes it's usually okay. The scan phasing, as you'll see, is the white beam that goes across the plane. To be honest, it looked good default, but of course you can mess with the settings itself. Adding a bit more static, you can see, it will make it a bit better to make it look a bit more of a hologram effect. So about there, good. Effect is very simple to do. Yeah, that looks better for me. And now the final thing, of course, is positioning it. We're not going to be using the event pan and crop. We're going to be using track motion since we are on a new video track. It won't interrupt any other track. So we're going to come to track motion. And I'm just going to go ahead and position this. So I'm going to make sure scale about center is checked. I want to make sure lock aspect ratio is checked. And I'm also going to make sure I'm on position. And then just drag it down. Make it smaller. Then just move this to the side. And of course the plane is turning so I don't want it to come over onto my face. And let's just see what we have. This effect is very simple to do. Yeah, and to do just this misses my face there. Green screen. That is the reason why I'm not... Yeah, that's better. So the next thing, let's add a fade in. So simply come up here, just drag, one second fade. And if we play this through... I'm going to be showing you how to do this effect. It is very simple to do. And I'm also going to add a fade to the audio. I'm going to turn it down a bit. And let's watch. How to do this effect it is very simple to do, and to do this, you will need a green screen. That is the reason why I'm not doing it on myself. I don't own a green screen, so I can't do it on myself. And there we go, that is how simple it is to do a hologram effect in Sony Vegas. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated when you post on what I'm posting. Also be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel, I'll post four times a week. And finally check out my Snapchat, which is what I do throughout my day. So yes, been Casual Savage here, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.